Over 27 million real Christmas trees were bought in the US this year. And when the holidays are over, we've got to do something with them. But trees, they're big and they're heavy. Imagine 27 million of these. Not only that, trees are biodegradable, so they should be ending up in nature, not a landfill. So what should we do with our old Christmas trees? I'm Lucy Biggers, and this is One Small Step. The telltale sign that the holidays are over, the Christmas trees are out on the curb. So depressing. Where do all these trees go? Are they ending up in the dump, or do they somehow get recycled? Here in New York City, at least some trees have been getting recycled for over 20 years. This is our 22nd annual Citywide Mulch Fest, where we celebrate the season by inviting people to come out to their local parks and chip their Christmas tree. The trees are collected during the first two weeks of January, when the city sets up over 70 Christmas tree drop-off locations. It culminates in a weekend of chipping, where people can bring home their own mulch or Christmas tree potpourri. It smells like Christmas. In 2017, New York City's Mulch Fest turned 26,000 Christmas trees into mulch. But what about those trees on the curb? Well, it turns out they're getting recycled too. For a decade, the Department of Sanitation has run a curbside pickup program that recycles around 240,000 trees each year. You just put your tree out on the street during the first two weeks of January. They send out special collection trucks just for the trees, and they bring them to locations where they have contractors chip them up and turn them into mulch. It's important to note, ornaments, tree stands, and lights must be removed or else the tree will get picked up with the trash. So if I've been walking around and I see mulch in the parks in the summer, is it likely that that's Christmas, old Christmas trees? Absolutely. A lot of it came from the trees that people are bringing to us today and tomorrow, and it's something that will be valuable year-round. Most major U.S. cities have some form of a tree recycling program. And that's because recycling trees just makes sense. It saves money, of course. It costs money to dispose of trash, whether it's organic, whether it's packing material, anything. It costs a lot of money. And by diverting it from the waste stream, finding a productive use for it in the city, yeah. it saves money and, and really helps uh, the park. New York City spends $330 million carting our trash to landfill each year. Because we're on a tiny island, our trash travels as far as Ohio and Virginia before it's in the landfill. And we're producing trash on a huge scale. Eight million residents produce 12,000 tons of trash every day. That's a lot of trains and trucks just carrying garbage. By turning these trees into mulch, we're cutting down on how much stuff gets shipped to the dump. Also, mulch is useful and gives trees a second life. The mulch is an important element of, of building a healthy park. It does a number of wonderful things. It moderates the soil temperature so it doesn't get too cold. It prevents weeds from growing. It retains moisture. It's great for the plants. Sending your tree through the wood chipper isn't the only way to recycle it. Some cities sink Christmas trees into ponds because the branches make a great habitat for small fish. Coastal towns also give trees a second life by using them to reinforce beaches that have eroded. Of the millions of trees we use each year, it's hard to tell what percentage get recycled. And I'm sure there are still many that unfortunately end up at the dump. But it's great to see that as an individual, what you choose to do with your tree not only prevents waste, but also helps your environment by creating a valuable resource for plants and animals. And it's pretty cool to know that the next time you see a tree on the curb, you can imagine it as mulch feeding next season's plants instead of post-holiday waste. And to recycle your tree, contact your town or check online to find out your town's policy. Make sure you're removing all those ornaments and those lights. This was One Small Step. I'm Lucy Biggers. Share this if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.